Hello, buddy Lady Gear to you here, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we completed the Great Bay Temple, and in this episode, we're going to be taking care of some mini games. Uh, not, uh, not mini games. Uh, uh, heart, we're going to collect some heart pieces throughout the Great Bay Coast. Uh, the first thing we need, we have to get the Scarecrow Throne. The Scarecrow Throne, you can play any notes you want when you talk to him, and. When you repeat those notes uh, anywhere else, uh, uh, the scarecrow will appear, and this is actually required for a couple art pieces. I don't remember it being required for anything story-wise, but it's still a good idea to uh, try this out. The first uh, we're going to be getting in this episode is along the cliffs uh, near the Great Bay. Not the great pick, the Gerudo Fortress. Uh, to get this, you're gonna need the hook shot, the stray beans, the spring water, and scare the scarecrow song. If you don't remember, uh, if you don't remember how to get the stray beans, just go talk to the Deku uh, salesman uh, in Woodfall Temple. Not Woodfall Temple. You have to talk to the Deku salesman by Southern Swamp. Uh, he will only sell them to Deku's because uh, he's a jerk, but that's basically it. And around this area, there's also a hole that you can go down. Uh, that hole has uh, a couple cows, and if you recall from a couple of videos ago, you'll be able you can get some milk by playing your pony song whenever you're near a cow. So. Let's use the spring water uh, to make the bean grow. There's actually a song that we'll be able to get in the coming videos uh, that will allow us to make it rain. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about, but this song, we're not going to be able to get it for just a little bit longer. But yeah, right here, play the Scarecrow song. The Scarecrow won't appear everywhere, only in certain areas. I, for the life of me, cannot remember all of the locations that he will be able to appear in, but I will be collecting the hard pieces that, were, that require him to get stuff. The only hard, I'm only get, the only hard pieces that I'm not getting are the Southern Swamp Shooting Gallery and possibly the Clock Town Shooting Gallery. I will still play those mini games. But I was just not so myself getting the heart piece because I've never been able to beat them. I'll probably get the heart pieces off camera, but that's how I'm going to be doing this. Um, right here, you don't get a, you don't have to get a heart piece for doing this. It's just a little fun thing that you can do to uh, collect a bunch of rubies. Um, but yeah, the we're gonna be taking care of. We're going to be taking care of the Southern Swamp Shooting Gallery and all those, uh, and all, we're going to be getting all the heart pieces that I missed in Southern Swamp and Snowhead uh, in the next in the next video. But with, in this video, we're going to be going this way. Now, if you didn't read the text, uh, uh, shooting all those pots with the Zora boomerangs will or will give you 90 rubies. And what he said about the jar replacement being 10 rubies, that, ma that actually makes me feel kind of uh, sad because uh, yeah, because the, the only purpose of the only purpose of a jar in a, a Zelda game is to be destroyed. So the fact that it costs 10 rubies to replace them, uh, that's just that's just kind of evil. And the and what's worse is that people put green rubies in a jar that costs uh, 10 rubies to replace. Um, I decided to speed up this area because I was feeling a lot and, uh, and the video was kind of going for like 20 minutes. And I don't want to have to uh, keep making 20 minute videos every day. So that's why I sped it up. Uh, 
this over here to get the heart piece, so you're gonna have to destroy the Ike the uh is it Ike Ike or Like Like? I think it's Like Like. Um so you're gonna have to destroy the Like Like. To do that, you have to stun them with the Zora Boomerangs and then you attack them. Uh make sure to uh defeat the fifth things before you attempt to fight the Like Like because they'll uh because they'll be evil and try to attack you. Anyway, we got our 17th heart piece and yep, things like that. There, you can collect some blue rubies to after you beat them. So, let's go back to the start. Excuse me, Fist! How very rude of you! Oh, that stuff, that looks really awesome. This, the graphics in this game really impress me. This is an N64 game, and there's so much, there's so many things in this game that just make it look really good, and I don't know, I don't know how to word it, but the, I'm just, I just love the graphics in this game. It just proves that you don't need, like, photorealistic uh, graphics to make a game good. Heck. Zelda Link's Awakening is my favorite game of all time, and if you've seen the graphics for those, but you know, the graphics aren't exactly all the, all the best, but I still really enjoy that game. Uh, I don't really care that much for graphics, uh, and things like that. So the next thing we're going to be getting, we're going to have to climb these things. It's so hard to uh, aim at precise things when you're, when you have, like, laggy capture. I didn't know this was her. Alright, um... It's kind of hard to... Uh, aim at stuff when your capture card lags all the time. But, uh... You're gonna want to climb these trees. There are vines on the cliffs. Uh, if you... If for whatever reason you're not able to... Hook spot onto the trees. I've never thought the vine... I never... Just hook spot onto the vines. Simply because I just like seeing the trees a bit more. But, things like that. And I was originally going to split this video into two videos uh, with all those mini games uh, being in the previous video and what we're going to be doing here is a separate video. But I but I saw but I figured that uh, it'd be better to just take them one video and just speed up uh, certain elements from this next area. I'll be commentating through them. I won't be playing music, but there's a beaver over here and. I didn't know beavers could breathe in the water. Hello, so what are you gonna do? It's a Nintendo game. You again? You can't fool me with your green cows. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson. Okay, I'll give you one, but. Only if you can swim through the rings in the river in under two minutes. So you want to try? There's a total of 20 rings, but you must swim through them in the right order for it to count. I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. Uh, I'm speeding this section up because it because it actually takes a little, because it takes a while and we have to do this four times. Um, these rings, we have to go through the ones that are spinning. Uh, these rings, they're, uh, if you bu if you go in, if you bump into the ledges, you will lose your momentum, uh, as you, as you will see, uh, throughout this, throughout the rest of the video. Um, it's just pretty challenging, so at certain point, at, sometimes, but, if you're a skill like me, then you're doomed because this actually took me a lot of tries to do. Um, it's not that it's not hard. It's just it's just uh, take it takes a couple tries if you haven't done it in a while. Oh, uh, that was perfect. That's not good. Did you call me, little brother? I called you, big brother. Actually... What? Empty bottle? 
Yeah, an empty bottle. Hmm. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. I can't just give you one because you beat my little brother. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race once again, once more against me. So will you try? Nah. Okay, fine, I will. It was the same, but the, now there are 25 rings. Don't fall behind. Yay, we're doing this pretty much the same thing. Uh, this is a little bit different from last time. Uh, the only difference is that, um, is that there are more rings, and as you saw right there, I completely messed up because I am an idiot. Um, but yeah, uh, this took me a few tries because my capture card was lagging, and I was just being an idiot. Um, uh, if you don't go through the rings in the correct order, uh, the ring will not count, and if you try to... Uh, and if you try to get through the exit without collecting all the rings, then you'll be then you'll be accused of cheating. And some of the rings that are on the surface, like the ones back there, where there are two of them in a row, it's best to just uh, uh, go up to the surface and swim through them. Uh, I don't I'm not exactly all that great at this. Um, it's a lot easier than to go on racetracks, that's for sure, but it's still pretty challenging. And we got an empty bottle! Yay! Clap for joy! But we're not done yet. We still have to go through some more torture. Over here, uh, the beavers will still be there. Now, if we want to get a heart piece, we have to race them again. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, little brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? I don't believe you. If you still want, if you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. What will you do? All right. First, you have to start with my little brother. This time, the limit is 1 minute 50 seconds. It's basically the same race, except the route is just a little bit different. And you only have 1 minute and 50 seconds. So you have uh, so you have less time to get through it. Um, same amount of rings as when you were racing in the first time. But uh, it's a little challenging because... Of, uh, because you have a lot less time, and if you mess up by bumping into a ring, uh, then you're doomed. Uh, not like if you bump into it just barely, and you're still able to make, you're st still able to go quickly. Um, if you mess up, like you bump into it, and you take like forever to go through the ring, then you're pretty much uh, doomed. He did it again, little brother. He did it again, big brother. That's thankful, little brother. Now race me! The time is the same as... But there are 25 rings. Don't fall behind. So, uh... These rings... Are they the rings that Sonic collects? Because if I go through 50 of them, will I turn into Superlink? Ah, that was a that was a lame joke. I don't even know why I said that. Anyway, uh, the the route is just a little bit different, and there are more rings and less time. So this is definitely the hardest out of the races, out of the, out of the Beaver races, and this by far by far had the most outtakes. It had like 20 minutes worth of outtakes, but finally able to get through it but yeah that's about it for the beaver races there was actually another mini game i was going to cover in this video but i decided not to do it because uh, uh because by the time i finished recording this i just didn't want to play the game anymore so i i'm going to save that for a future video you're all just talk hey big brother
If you give that to him, uh, I wonder if he'll leave us alone. Yeah, I want to quit. His arms are funny. But anyway, we got the last heart pizza for the video. So, thank you guys for watching this video of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and until next time, later, Gator to you. Oh yeah.